It's Entomology Animated, celebrating the amazing biology of insects using the power of digital animation. Ding! All right, now I'm detailing the model, which is my favorite part. It makes all the technical stuff worthwhile. So I'm going in, I've added some surface noise uh, to the model, and then uh, I'm doing mask by noise and just kind of using various brushes like the clay brush to kind of bring out that surface noise. So you can see I have fine detail on here and doing that to the spiky thing as well. Um, and then I'm using the Damien standard brush to kind of create little cracks and crevices in the surface, just refining what I already have and really building it out. So the Damien or Dam standard brush is one that I use a lot to do this. Now I've switched the Dam standard brush so that it's using drag rect as opposed to the smooth stroke. And I've also switched it to Z add as opposed to Z sub. I know that might not make sense if you're not a ZBrush user, but that's the process that I'm using. And I'm using that to kind of create these crab pimples. So I'm dragging out these little spiky bits using the Damien standard brush. I call them crab pimples because you see this kind of detail a lot on crabs and crustaceans and lobsters and stuff, but I'm using it on an arachnid. And it's one of these details that gives this particular organism a lot of its personality because a lot of hairs will come out of these little spiky bits. Um, so you can see I'm just kind of refining that detail, make, creating the crab pimples and really looking at my reference images to figure out, you know, what is the personality of these types of details? When do they follow in rows along the contours? When are they kind of random? When are their size varied? And were they more concentrated or less concentrated? And just following that as best as I can. I'm not doing a literal, you know, one spiky for each spiky on my reference images because that's a good way to go insane. But I'm basically trying to match the character of it as much as possible, especially around the mouth here. Now, the mouth is tough because there's not a lot of great reference imagery on it. And there's a lot of hair in there. So I'm just kind of following it the best I can. I don't like to make stuff up if I can. So I'm just kind of using an educated guess. And now I'm painting the model. I do painting in successive colors. So I start with a lot of high contrast colors and then I'll use the poly paint with uh, lower opacity and lighter colors. And I'll also use the smooth brush. I'll turn off Z add for the smooth brush and turn on RGB. So it becomes kind of like a blur brush so I can blend these colors together. And I also use a lot of masking. So I'll mask by cavity or mask by surface noise or mask by smoothness, just different types of masks so that I can use the detail that I've already sculpted into the surface as a way to accentuate the poly paint. So all those little crab pimples that I created earlier, I want them to be dark in color. So I'll use masking to do that. I want to do a quick shout out to Gorongosa Coffee. Normally I keep my videos commercial free, but I had to make an exception for Gorongosa Coffee. Really excellent coffee. All the proceeds go to support the people in Mozambique who live around uh, Gorongosa. Um, by ordering and subscribing, you get anywhere in the world, you get the coffee delivered. I get a couple of shipments each month. It's delicious, fantastic coffee. Uh, it's farmed right around the park um, using extremely eco-friendly techniques. Um, the proceeds go to help a lot of things. They help the local economy in Mozambique, which I mentioned. They support uh, anti-poaching efforts. So you're saving wildlife like elephants and lions and even little bugs like termites and all kinds of great stuff. You're also supporting uh, ed science education and specifically education for young women. Um, so it's a really great way to enjoy coffee while at the same time helping biodiversity, helping rescue the planet in a place that desperately needs it. And, uh, you know, it's a good way to use your money. So check out gorongosacoffee.com. Um, it's really worth a subscription. Highly recommend it. They have a great website. And, of course, there's lots of information on their story, which is worth checking out. Hey, YouTube videos.